Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. As usual, it's Jay. Don't know why it's like a long pause there. I think I need a cup of tea. Hang on. Right. Before we start, i got to put an apology out there. I missed the weekend show. That's on me. We had a bit of a problem. On the Saturday, i done a long video for Blood Bowl, but I lost the footage. So, Sunday... My friend Griff stood stood in before he had to go to work because um, he is a trooper. He had a, he had spare two hours before he had to, he had to go away in the night to work fixing rail, railway tracks. So I can't thank him enough because he sat down with me that allowed me to do short short videos to show what was happening and he stuck around to the very end but you probably find it was getting quicker and quicker towards the end because we were trying to speed it up so he wasn't in a rush but he, I gotta say thank you to him because he made that video possible but that's not why we're here at the moment we are here because GW um, said on the said on the weekend through the community page that they've got new start collecting boxes which have gone up for are going up for pre order this week. So if I talk about this now, I might not have anything to talk about on the weekend, but I think that's something we can live with, really. But it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's kind of not interesting. It depends how you want to look at it. And I know I'm behind on this one because everyone else has covered it because all the bigger channels have had their say but like I like I call, call myself we are the internet's biggest unknown channel there is so what does that mean that means you I'm gonna say my piece and hopefully you will say if you agree or disagree so what what I'm looking at now is the community page. If you like this this format where I'm just looking at the community page and we're going to read it um, together, let me know. I could probably do a few more of them if this is the type of thing you like. If not, I will take my time and do a proper video. But I wanted to get this out here today because I still got a long way to go on the Blood Bowl video. So, another cup of tea. Oh. Noob with a brush, powered by Taff Tea. Right. Post went up on the 17th, which was yesterday, as of this recording. So, new start collecting boxes, boards, and very special commissar. I'll tell you this now. I'm not going to talk about the commissar might not even talk about the boards because what I am interested in is the start collecting boxes which we know are coming for Age of Sigma. What's been announced is there's going to be two. It's going to be the Maggotkin of Nurgle and the Aideneth Deepkin. To me, I've sat down and looked at these uh, sets. I've looked at them separate. I'm a little bit disappointed in one. I think one out of the two is a better deal. It could be because I'm biased. Um, I'm going to give you five seconds to say down in the comments what you think I'm going to say is the worst deal and which one I think is going to be the better deal. Start in now. Right. Here we go. What we got is get that out of the way. Right, what we got is we got the Aidenet Deep Kid. 
going to get my information by here about the troops. So what's in the box? We've got a soul render. I believe it's called an Ishvan soul render. And then we've got a set of 10 thralls. And then we've got the eels then. So they can be set up as either as attack or defensive uh, eels, depending on what you like. Very nice looking uh, models, I will say. They are the latest to come from GW out of the two. And they are spectacular models. But we now know that GW have increased their prices on the Star Correcting boxes and their paints. I already had my say about the paints. That was a couple of weeks ago. Where, lo and behold, I didn't agree with them up in the paints because they are so they go well they got a higher price range than other paints that I find valet or I've got a better cover. So perhaps they could have done with putting a bit of a freeze on the price to seem a little bit more competitive. But that's just me. But these models are fantastic. But they're not all that. You basically you've got your HQ, you've got a battle line and then you've got your cavalry. If we're looking at the points value, the point value is, if you set them up as the Morsar Guard, is 400 points. If you set them up, set the eels up the other way, it's 380 points. So, you could get two star collecting sets and you've got your 1000 point army. But, I think this is probably going to be up around about the 60-65 pound mark if you add it up all these separate I think you're only saving 15 pound which to me is yeah it's good that you're still getting the saving but I don't know the box set if the box set is cheaper than 60 pound I say it's a fantastic deal but if it is the top end like I'm expecting to be you're saving fifteen pound, which I think is a little bit, it's a little bit of shame. GW, you know, it's yeah, we get in the saving. I shouldn't knock that, and I understand that, but yeah, you could give us a better saving than that, surely, because you know, if you put these down lower than that, people are going to snatch these up, because star collecting boxes are brilliant. For everyone, it doesn't matter if you're new, old, if you just want to start out in it, or if you want to expand your current sets. But I just don't want them to start getting greedy because I picked up the Star Collecting uh, Demons of Corn, and that was a fantastic deal. And I think last year there was a lot of boxes that were fantastic deals because you always had that centerpiece model and then you had your troops and then you had a HQ I know you're still getting that year and I think the eels take the centerpiece but I, I I think it's had a push really big push but if I'm wrong let me know um, it's it could it, I could be looking at this wrong I could be expecting the worst and then hopefully come the weekend I'm going to be pleasantly surprised so let's do that then let's say now I think this is going to be a £60 box I think the other one's going to be a £60 box as well so I think this is going to be the it's a saving but not as much of a saving I think it's going to work out about £15 so which is like I said, don't get me wrong, it's good. And I've said this about a hundred times. It's good, but it could be better. It's, and it's not like you've got a massive centerpiece model as well. It's like... They could have put something else in there. It's just saying... It could be better. It could be better, but... It's no, ca it's no um, card renewal for loads, is it? So... 
there's always that to look forward to and everything's got a plus if you look at it that way so enough about uh, blind elves let's go on to our chaos boys so Magakin of Nurgle now this is where I show my bias because I do like these models I think these are absolutely lovely sculpts and I never expected the putrid black kings to turn up in a star collecting box because I, I thought they were such a an awesome looking set that they would never put it on a, like a saving because they knew they would get the money for it but GW have surprised me and it's for the better so I, I think this is amazing but anyway before I start fanboying out the mannequin of Nurgle I'm still looking at this as a £60 box and in this box we have got a Lord of Blight Putrid Blight Kings and we've got Pus Pusgoyle Blight Lords they're the boys on the flies so it's a lot less in this box but you know these are going to be beefier units so the pros and cons of everything and the exceptional models as well looking at it um, saying match points you're going to say these are working out at 520 which is a I know it's less than the other one the other set but I feel this is this is better because the chunkier models I know, I know that's the false equivalence the chunkier models doesn't mean it's better value but I don't know it just it feels like you're getting the best out of this one and I done a quick tally up before I press play and I think it works out about 23 to 25 pound the savings so it's either GW have overpriced the separate boxes or this is a fantastic deal I'll let you guys decide down below personally I think this is the better deal because again amazing models amazing sculpts if I didn't go down the uh, demons of corn route at the moment and then promise people that I would do the Slanesh models perhaps Nurgle would have been the next on the list but I know it, when it comes to Warhammer and ADHD I think we've all got it and we can all understand that it may be a box or two coming my way and just not be touched for a year or two but excuse me these are amazing models and I don't know it's I don't know how I'm going to say it. I feel this is better bang for your buck but we'll know more come the weekend because we'll actually have prices to go with them and then we can say yeah you are getting a better value and if this is the worst one I'll eat my words and I'll actually say I'm sorry but I feel the uh, the Deep King are going to be the worst ones. Deep breath. Have a quick cup of tea. Right, let's have a look. No, we don't have warm and underworlds. So, as I see quickly, we got new battle mats come in for you boys that if you're into your underworlds so I don't play so you know, it's the forbidden chambers board pack double sided um, and it's got the it says unusual features so hmm I don't know I'm I do like the look of the models. I can't say that I intended to pick it up. I know there's people excited about the information that was dropped at the Toy Fair. But, right. We got Storm Vault come in, which is going to be a board game. Two to five players set within the Age of, Sig Age of Sigma. Uh, set in 
looks like it's going to be a very in-depth game. It's not one that you're going to pick up quickly and put down within a, within half an hour. It's not. Well, this this looks like it could be intense. It could well, but it just could be looks. It might be so simple to play. We never know. But yep, let's have a look. Right, the mortal realms are ripe with adventure, filled with hidden treasures to be found. Monsters that slay heroes and and heroes in search of glory. Very soon you'll be able to embark on such an adventure yourself with a cooperative game for two to five players, with optional difficulty set then random events and each hero possessing their own distinct abilities. They are hours of replayability in this box. Let me tell you now, that's for us to decide, not for you to tell us. So, don't overstep your mark, GW. And now we got Dreadfane, which is a Warhammer Underworlds game. A lot of people have been saying they've been looking forward to this because it's two new um, war bands and it's going to be a more streamlined version of Warhammer Underworlds but maybe it's me and I've been burnt a little bit but if this comes to the UK I'll be very shocked because the last set that was um, streamlined was Blood Bowl. I think it was Blitz Bowl, which was a smaller game, and we haven't seen that over here yet. It's been in America, and I know, I've seen a few people cover it, and it's US. I think they said US only. Don't take my word on it. So I got a feeling this is going to go down the same route. So I hope I'm wrong, but you never know. By the look on the board, it's only going to be three to four models per war band. So, is it really streamlined? Streamlined that much? Because some war bands are like five. Or you, or you got, was it Magog or whatever that troll was called? He was just one with a couple of uh, squigs. So, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to any of the sets from the Toy Fair? Do you think the um, star collecting boxes are good or not so good? If, are you are you interested in this style of video? Please let me know. And if you're not interested in this, I'll go back to the old setting. If you prefer this, uh, I could do more videos, I guess. But I won't know until you guys tell me what's happening. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the show. Bit of a different format than normal, but uh, hopefully you bid with me as I stumble through the community page. If you like the video, please let me know. Um, there's a like button if you liked it. If you're not a subscriber or you know people that like this content, please subscribe and share. Um, I just want to say thank you again for watching the video and thank you for watching other videos if you are a returning viewer. Um, I may do this format again, I'm not sure, but like I said earlier, it's down to you guys, you've got to tell me. I am going to try and get the Blood Bowl video up soon, so hopefully that won't take too long. Um, I haven't got the best editing skills in the world, I am learning slowly, but we'll see how it goes. Now, because we're on the way out, I've got to do my little bit of shilling. So, um, we've got a PayPal account, um, and we've got a Patreon account, do with it as you will. If that's nothing, still thank you very much for watching it's up to you guys um, if you want to contribute in other ways but look good as you're doing it we have got a teespring account so you can get your uh, you can get your new bond and uh, support us that way show everyone that uh, you're a big fan of new boy 
hopefully something will come a new new design will come along in the future and yeah thank you again for uh, bearing with me and i shall see you again real soon